Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, riveting, and amazing, spectacular propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda who loves like to fend over the fatherland, your Lord of the Airwaves. Off here to a one me one own Nexus in the West is the Angry Dutch and fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Rolling out here with the, oh, let's just go with the 23rd Panzer is shown here with Blitzkrieg, Lightning War, and Assault Support, Panzerfaust Mines, from Anti-Tank Guns, as nice, it is delirious. Fighting for the Red Army, the Soviet Union, Comrade Stalin, forming up here the glorious 10th Tank Corps with Gut Rifle, Gut Rifle, Airborne Troops, and Gut Motor with double infantry and tank guns. Also worth noting, Glare is going for a slightly interesting opening here with double engineers, but not say special rifle command, just crime scripts, and like to grab a bit more territory in the early game. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my own personal company heroes, my patron supporters. Each one of these particularly wonderful people are of great, you know, value and purpose to me. And that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I like them. They're great people. You too can join the ranks for Patreon. Patreon, links in the description. I just just donate, where other main great people also, you know, do. Links also in the description for that. Let us know, comment, like, share, subscribe, press the bell button. That also makes me happy and also makes the YouTube algorithms happy. Please, don't, Mr. YouTube algorithm, don't leave any more horse heads on my bed. Anyways, double gun easy for angry Dutchman. Double conscript, double gun easy for delirious. And again, trading a bit more early capping path and then sort of lack a bit more firepower. Again, versus the Vermont. It actually kind of makes sense. It's typically, again, they're not going to like to punish you hard for this. So. Definitely a bit of a clever opening here, but Delirious, I think, exploring, shall I say, some of the more typical aspects of the Wehrmacht early game. Thumbs up to that. And you thought you here by some broken up railroad cars coming up out here. Third Consport now for Delirious, machine getting up flank already. Bit of a risky spot here for Angry Duck. And does men suppress the conscripts, but still has to reposition, as there's no supporting infantry within vicinity. And uh, yeah, that's not going to be great here, but Glennis catch. Seeing the cops in the center here, cross, trying to cross road. Petrov neatly drops dead. MD4 setting up here. Kansk is backing off. Of course, they're going to walk straight to MD42 if they do not. Third gun is what they find with Dutchman. Going to forwards. Shots fired there. We got the Kansk is north of Super Delirious. Kansk is routed. Back here. Nothing further on there. Thank with Dutchman. Third gun is what almost done. You can soon go up for tech. They could also go for more gun leads. could also go for another machine gun. You could go for a mortar. Quite a few options here, and Delirious, the engine is getting suppressed. Conscript trying to get away, but also gets suppressed in the process. Good engagement, at least put this part here for Angry Dutch, and up north, Pony is holding up the Conscripts. Probably more the fact of the MD42 that you know, holds back the Conscripts rather than the Pioneers. So there you go, units routed. Back here, we got the medics on the way there for Delirious, the field infirmary. Machine already there with zero kills so far. Of course, may want to try and do. Uh, Use the manual reload soonish. They're probably not now when fighting about to happen, but you know, just keep the machine gun topped up so it, you know, doesn't have to reload during fighting if possible when you ever have the time. Genius was gonna use plus the machine gun bunker there, holds the genius and wraps them. Tech on the way there for Angry Dutchman. Gonna need someone taking out the consoles here, definitely a bit awkward there for Delirious if we were to lose them. And feeling infirmary done, grab Norman Ponty with the conscripts, good maneuver there. You can hear see a tiny chance of getting wiped out here by Angry Dutchman, particularly they take a well, they'd probably take one of the worst retreat paths they could have taken, but uh, despite all of that, uh, perhaps no, no, no. Close one though. But like they could have run through here, but no, they decided to go through this one. Sometimes retreat paths don't quite make a lot of sense. Tag almost on there for Angry Dutch. We can build the like to make a nice company. Could also push out some fast Panzer and Lira, but I imagine that like to make a nice company. Northern fuel pump being seized here. Good to shot to play, but delirious. Thumbs up. Continue is getting ready. Heading south is there. Bit of barbed wire here to make it harder for the opponent to sneak around the ports at the edge. Also can make retreats a slightly more tougher thing. So clever set up there by delirious. At least decent. And you the conscripts. Gun is backing off. Got northern fuel. They did get the car point first. Some nice maneuvering here going on. Rather than off for trying to catch the conscript, but Delirious was already one step ahead, which is... Yeah, no, accidentally was one step ahead, I don't know how you describe that. Anyways, MD4 to the risk getting out maneuver, we got the mines was here, Delirious already taking uh, steps to watch out for possible S mines, or Tiller mines here from Anchor Dutchman already. Thumbs up, there's Delirious, there is some nice foresight. He also has flame flows up already, so now might as well. In the south here, port secure, the engineers for the flame flows are ready to give uh, Angry Dutchman a bit of a hard time up north here, full route. 
like to make our nice company remain silent. He's clearly want the armored car, but I still recommend the pans are going to be escorted out if possible. They do perform quite well for the conscripts and the engineers, in my opinion. So, from company, they're pushing out a maximum for Delirious. No assist to the additional field guns, and you can use right on the grenadiers. The flame of course, would be powerful. Mine's up here from Delirious as well. Thumbs up. Sandbags as well. Armored car, thank you, Dutchman, plus a banker. Grenadiers and pioneers had a work digging the hole there. There we go. Medics on the way. Maxim also ready here for Delirious, the M1910. Sorry, equipment actually, but obviously saw plenty of usage under the Soviet Union as well. The mountain there was basically also because back in the, you know, Tsarist times. So the Red Army, you know, was from a oh, Russian army, that was better there, was primarily, you know, footborne and so needed, you know, something the infantry could haul about. That's the Maxim. So Little fun fact, the armored car from Norfolk, in fact, the cops was there. Pushing them back. But one in the south here from Deleuze. Really good map, which right now definitely puts Angry Dutchman in a bit of an awkward spot here. Deleuze definitely been outmaneuvering Angry Dutchman quite efficiently. Do we get any anti tank grenades? We do not. Dispatching forces south, this with light machine guns, so guessing. Bro. Could still be lightning war, but it seems slightly less likely. I mean, gee, for the field gun is going to be quite handy, I think, here versus delirious conscripts. Field in the way there now. Angry Dutch. And I think we should only focus focusing on the center. I think it's just be pushing out of north its heart, or south its heart. I think right now, Angry Dutch with the current situation is, I think, is trying to do too many things at the same time in some way. I mean. Sure, at one point, you know, launch an attack somewhere, attack as a diversion, draw attention away, and then make a push for the fuel, but it's not like he's making the major push in the north, like, it's the center, it seems, so. Mm, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this setup here by Angry Dutchman, and such scattering his forces a bit too thinly, and that doesn't get, like, enough punching power here to punch through Delirious, which can actually now counter maneuver, and leaves Angry Dutchman center, woefully exposed, and he's finally going to move on here. Pencil squad by finally arrived, definitely could have that much sooner, and the armored car here, thankfully he's not getting knocked out because he hasn't reset still yet, but he's doing it now, but still, transport there, could pop an anti-tank grenade here, yup, close for angry Dutchman end, not quite, not quite, still doing a lot of damage here to those infantry dustmen, he now can't maintain the front line, but still, He's been getting a plenty of fuel here versus his opponents, and I got 200 fuel, so he could, like, easily push out for something nasty. Angry Dutch going for the other armored, another armored car, and just needs something a bit more punchy there in terms of mobility to, like, control the field and sort of get it back here versus Delirious, but I definitely feel like there was a mistake here by Angry Dutch to focus too much in the center, and then only, like, a token force to try and grab the northern point if that was his main effort. I feel like he should try, like, either, like, you know, center south or center north. What he was trying to do was center north-south, and that definitely, I think, extended Angry Dutchman too much. In particular, he didn't, like, have a lot of assault forces to actually, like, pull it off with. Like, had he had multiple Panzer Grenadiers, or an officer, or had doctrine for the assault gunners or storm, in which case he probably could have made it work with just Grenadiers, and not even upgraded with G-43 Grenadiers. I would say that was too ambitious, ambitious a plan there by Angry Dutchman that asked too much of the men, which they couldn't really deliver. Contouring forces, the Panzer with a Sturm Gewehr and Fielzig, armor car running as well, this is Grand South, and again, heading northwards as well this time though. Delero certainly does not force post all places, it can't easily defend it now, but it's, you know, it does come with some risks here as well, and it does need to be like, you know, keeping the machine gun, I think, in a more reserved position, ready to assist where they need it. Delero is finally taking up there. You could actually push for a mechanized armor company and get out a fast T-34 from 60 versus Angry Dutchman, who's going for the pack forward. He's obviously expecting something nasty. Armor coming his way soon. Laying down mines in the south. Thumbs up to Angry Dutchman. Machine gun there getting hammered with this video should feel good. Needs reposition. Nasty hit. They almost wiped the entire machine gun crew. Pack 40 ready. Ram some fuel here with the Pioneer. Tanker with Tankman almost done there for Delirious. Ground Northern Point. Enemy 
I'm a contact now, city from the sister leader to field gun, punching straight through. Trying to charge into the gun needs. Ooh, that was definitely not the greatest one of the delirious. The console is already weakened. The gun is just easily cut several down without taking any damage. In the center, we got the gun being up. Slowly up maneuver, the console could pop a Molotov, but there you go. Panzer, Panzer gun is appearing on the flank here. That's going to be bad news for the conscripts. And forcing his retreat here on him. And he's off to the max, and the conscripts pining is backing off. And Gudashin, of course, could take up himself. They wouldn't be able to do much with it soon, and there you go, necking us down the company. And Delirious is currently like just on the highway there to a fast T-34 from 6, or relatively fast T-3045. In fact, a T-35 wouldn't be that much safer than a T-34 from 6 under current circumstances, so definitely looking a bit uh, dangerous. Then, of course, do get Gart Motor with the T-3045s, Gart or Heavy Mortars, Gart Rifle Infantry, Vehicle Repair Training, and the Mark Vehicle Ability, very solid doctrine, very flexible, though. Most players don't bother with any mortar. Angry Dutchman, meanwhile, it's got not much else going on there. Time's going to go to the console, it's going to do with the camera, the little help needs to back off. But now, finally, Angry Dutch managed to get good map control versus opponent, of course. That's slightly about to be broken though by the rubber tank. We see another pack 40 of Angry Dutchman. Either he's really aware again, he's going to be hit by some serious tankage, or he's possibly trying to stall out for something big like a Tiger tank, which would definitely be a bit ambitious in the current circumstances. We shall, of course, have to see what Angry Dutchman is actually playing towards here. But, uh, certainly some things to consider there. Punishment gives the maxim. T-34 from 6 on the other for Delirious, so not going for the T-35, that's perhaps a small relief in some ways for Angry Dutchman. In other ways, not so much, because that just means there might be just be more T-34 from 6 faster, which is going to really give him the hard time. But there you go, he's still disrupting, still slowing down his opponent's fuel income, he still needs to push up for some armor soon, but uh, at least he's making sure that Delirious is being slowed down sufficiently to just not snowball the match completely out of control right away which would definitely devastate angry dutchman so now it's come back in we get blitzkrieg with panzer tactician tactical movement reconnaissance overflights command tank and the steward close air support pulling that over his opponent's base probably to get an idea like what is my opponent doing that is what he's saying to himself well he's probably saying that in dutch i don't speak dutch but you know translated from dutch what is my opponent doing and you know, does he have tanks up? Which, you know, he sees, yes, my opponent has tanks up. So thumbs up the tanky Dutchman. Also allowed to, you know, spot out where his opponent's hecti moon set up for a, you know, counter measure for that. So, again, good uses there. T-34 going up. Going to be used there under fire. Pack bottom in the T-34 select, passing straight through the side armor. Some of the fuel being replaced here by the Lyrus and the Red Army. Another hit from the T-34-76. Angry Dutchman himself is taking up. So good. Thumbs up. Get those support core. Then get some Panzer Fours. Make some Stoogs. Delirious slowly winding his way towards another T-34-76. Or possibly already planning to move towards the T-35. But there you go. T-34 was knocked out there. Moving straight to the center there against Angry Dutchman. Obviously at the risk of encountering most of the anti-tank guns. So he could of course move out on the flanks and try to outmaneuver Angry Dutchman with it. Which probably would have worked better. But oh well. Another new squad for Delirious, how he lost the previous one to the fascists. Kranzka driving in the center here, no mercy shown there by Angry Dutchman. Fire up north here, point being seized for the conscripts. And fresh new squad ready, T-54 and die repairs. Max from there, being flanked by the Panzer one of the ears. Use with the gun of the ears. The former cup for Angry Dutch, we can go for the Panzer 4. Panzer there gaining, having gained veterans 1 with 3 kills. So not having quite making the impact that he probably hoped for when he won for them some time ago. But oh well. Still punching infantry if used correctly. Up north here we got the Gunners being on one, but Conscript and Gunners still with a bit of suppressive firepower. Archer in the tide against the Lyrus up north. T-34 
key for the formal script to go. Can soon go for another one. But again, he may just want to stay up for the T for the 45s. Angry Dutchman ever closer to the Panther 4. Could of course also go for the command tank. But I would not advise that's the first unit here by Angry Dutchman. I would not advise that. Air reconnaissance again. Can go for the Panther 4 now. Just needs to start building it. There we go, Panther on the Panther the Dutchman. Thumbs up. Delirious looks like he might be planning here for the T-35 as his second tank. Very good. Solid choice there. Then better on, but also more importantly more health. Does mean he can soak up some more hits and can lastly, you know, be a real problem for the Germans if you get enough of them, since at that point you can just overwhelm them a lot of the time. Northeast steady advance here by Delirious. Panther levels the gun of the years. Hey, if I go on there, Panther for almost on Frankie Dutchman. T for full sitting out. Grab the sun and pop with the field gun. T for full six sitting out. Pioneers being hammered by the Max machine gun and routed close to Team 2 in the south here. T for full going to be rushing straight into the Panther for in fact. Go, great hit here. T-34 right down to half of there. Got Concord rushing in there just in time to save the T-34. Still been joining as well there. And suddenly the tables are turned and Angry Dutchman is able to pull back the Panther into space. Pretty Chanel. Panther the catch in the maximum. Could rush in and possibly hit it with a bun grenade. But there you go. There's just a cheat. Very sensible there. Very sensible. Also, Lewis looking like he's going to have control of both fuel points soon. Meaning, at least going to be in a course in a really good position. There we go. He can now go for T3485 here, and he does so. Thumbs up to Delirious. On the cutting with the units up north, and instead we've got Pax Frank at the conscript trying to share their cover. So, what will Angry Dutchman go for next? Stooks could be an addition. He might also just go for more Panzer Fours. I think that's about way up north, not too shabby. Angry Dutchman really needs to like, focus more on the resource points. I definitely feel like Angry Dutchman is suffering a bit too much from center focus. He's just focusing too much on the center victory point and not enough on the resource points, which is definitely very much the delirious advantage of his Angry Dutchman. We got 1290 to 1032. So there you go. Arriving for Delirious. Going to from the contrast, the Maxim. T for the rolling ahead. Panther Force sending out the Fangry Dutchman. Panzer in Norfolk. And if I bring for the Panzer Panzer, they need to be careful here. They got five kills, half HP, need two. Panzer flank in the maxim. Good shot. The enemy is taking what we have secured. Going for tier four. Yeah, I never found of that one. Because you're not in the current circumstances. I don't feel like this could be a bit of a mistake by Angry Dutch. His opponent's just churning out more and more tanks. He's trying to take up. No idea what he's taking up for, but. Uh, I doubt he's going to get stooges because there's not part of the heavy panzer corps. In fact, you know we go for one now, but he isn't. So Panther was the T for the first from six, pushing him back, find the ground, the sun, the fuel pump back again, plus the sun, the victory point. We got 283 versus 190 versus 330. Mortal of the Delirious, two thumbs up, getting some out of here versus opponent is a very good idea. You could, of course, go for the heavy mortal as well, but you know. The 82 mm mortar is pretty good as well. And certainly compared to the heavy mortar, it does require a little less input or roll scene. It's a bit safer just to get. Those of course, you still need to use its abilities actively, but it's a little less dependent on it compared to the heavy mortar. I'm just got the gun in the squad here, but they do narrowly get away there. T-34 
Pokey from, from the south deep. Pioneer's route it. Someone's spinning around there. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, right round. Let's continue the pack 40 pan for flying away. This will pack crew exterminate, at least most of them, except for Fritz who runs quite fast. And Boris, they're getting blasted. Panthorp now the advancing uh, concert there. Gunny's these pans are running the scene as well. And tank and off damaging the up angry Dutch and Panzer 4. Tifa forming in, could go for another Tifa Falcon 6 soon. But of course he's probably just planning more Tifa to 35, which is definitely be a significant case of indigestion, frankly, Dutchman. Too slow to get out of there. Good kill there by Angry Dutchman. Bit of a slip up there by Delirious, I would say. More Pioneers for Angry Dutchman. We got the Panzer on the East Wing ahead there as well. Close to SC2. 283-324. Back here in Delirious' base. Nothing further going on at the moment. And Angry Dutchman's base also remains largely silent. Going. Not touch with his plane there. Telemind spotted, disarmed. Almost got the centre. So is he planning heavy panzer corner or what is angry death with continuing? Should we find out soon enough? Yep, heavy panzer corner there for angry Dutchman. The Lewis meanwhile is very close to number T-35 and the Sunday before holding up the counters with ease, close to the east level. And back to both fuel points now. So now De Lewis can go for another T-35 if there's a opponent who wants to. I'm on car flying where they will be counter in the south here, pinned down to the ground. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Pantherly North puts this is there. Still nothing out of Delirious, he's perhaps trying to wait to see what Angry Dutchman is going to go for before making a commitment there. Perhaps wondering why there's only one Pantacle for quite some time. But he's definitely out the resources to go for more tanks by now. Hands of for Angry Dutchman. That's... I don't know how to just gauge that one. That feels a bit questionable to be honest. Not terrible, but questionable. Not entirely sure that's going to be an optimal move, but of course, going to come down to partly just luck and usage. Meanwhile, we've got another T for the other final way for Delirious and the Red Army. Panther Fair Formal Stunning for Angry Dutchman. On the top, Pamphlet of the Conscripts. Field Gun Shoots, Whiffs. Panther Fair Formal Stunning for Angry Dutchman. Comes to being how many of the Panther Four, and there you go. Panther Fair 42 ready here for Angry Dutchman. Panther shoots, whiffs. Oh, of course, he does have a stupid close air spot ready now here versus his opponent, so if it sounds to correct, that could become rather uncomfortable for Delirious. If. Oh, wait, Panther being held forward to the front line. Need to be careful there with its flank. Could easily get rushed down by a fast take here by Delirious. And leave Angry Dutch, when I imagine, a bit more angry. Up north, they're pumping claim. We've got the armored car trying to assist. We got the T for filming and trying to assist the conscripts up north, so that should be a whip here for Delirious since there's nothing else nearby from Angry Duck to really, you know, turn the situation around now. Then it is moving in to try maybe Panther first, but that any significant damage to the T for the Red Fab, it's not gonna matter. T for moving in the south, Panther there for holding back for now, obviously doesn't want to give away its position while there's tanks nearby. That could end up the backfiring spectacularly then on Angry Dutchman. Actually, two there. We got the Panther firing. Now the tanks have backed off a bit. Firing, I imagine, on the Maxim. Or perhaps we get lucky. And there you go. First barrage. Gets a single kill and a bit of damage. But beyond that, nothing really significant on Delirious. And so nothing that really helped deal with the tanks. Get them to the north. Breaking the wall there and engaging the gun. Do you see they do get a Panther off in self defense? Perhaps not. Look like it, don't it? 
Down to two men. Panther for Mungin shoots and misses the TFFR pack for the ultimate wing up here for Angry Dutchman. Angry is the Dutchman. Modifying the MD 32. And flares off here from Delirious. Thumbs up as well. Hey, look, Ludwig Fireworks, my god, you can set a flare. Get down. Well, I'll get away, actually. Panther from very close, 32. Pine is about to get wiped out, and down they go. Small loss here for Angry Dash. We're going to be going to use with the conscript. Worth well, noting, he actually has only upgraded one of the squads. We mobilize the surface defense center. We got Michael in the Panther game. Makes you two there. Half health though. Almost got it, in fact. Let's clean up all of their Angry Dash. He's got no other armor still. S port pulled in, trying to put back the teeth of how the Lufa from Leech everything he's got, which is. Well, a bit questionable as you might notice in utility. Him on the south, hit T for the flank up behind. Getting hit there with a pack 40. Trying to catch that Panzer Bear for armor coming in as well here. Pack screwed out, but there you go, finish coming in there. Not ready for Angry Dutchman. Excellent killer for Delirious. Leaving Angry Dutchman quite flabbergasted. Panzer from T35. Field coming up here. Gonna be wiped as well there. Series of sting blows to Angry Dutchman. Panzer Bear for can fire again here. Okay, that looked like it was getting dead. It wasn't. Cut the firing gun here by shooting. Well, we've hit. Firing on the field gun. Several rockets. Well, get some kills in. I think. Got two kills. Not the most impressive. Panther there with close to the ace level. Storm good shots all the way. Frankly, got to be with the T45. Certainly helpful. Today's been more quicker for another one, but isn't. Slightly awkward uh, timing now in his call in or building armor. There's an apart from the T for the five. That one. So Angry Duck's gonna have to do some serious work. He's also lost his anti-tank guns on top of everything else. The only small relief here for Angry Duck is Delirious didn't run off with them. That one halfway done. Stug almost done there for Angry Dutchman. The Sturm Geschütz 3 as for G. Acelo MD42, that's not bad. Map controller remains firmly delirious, and again, I can't help but feel angry Dutchman suffered from a bit too much center focus here. We have a new T34 standing by. As a reminder, your tanks run on fuel, not on center victory points, and so does your opponents. North here, troops are branching northern field being called here by the T-55. Lack of anti-tank weapons makes things a lot harder for Angry Dutchman versus multiple T-55s here from Delirious. He's going to need more Stugs though. Just one is not going to be sufficient here for now. Panzerwerfer is ready to fire again here for Angry Dutchman. Need to get the Stugs to safety. Machine crew wiped out. Angry Dutchman's really bleeding out here now versus Delirious. Who's launching a large assault here. No. Three prongs for the tanks to support the infantry. Two thumbs up the delirious. This is where well done. Stu getting out maneuvered. Nothing to screen it with to spot for it. Definitely a bit too risky here. We got S4 to try to pick it up, but still pretty risky here. He's still gonna be continuing most of the ground here. And there goes Stu knocked out. Stu got Kanon and Fogel hammering the T-35. So Pants for the Bass going down the suppress troops. Ultimate the armor. Does some damage, but the overall more improved importantly, the damage on the Dutchman has been done. He's got two Kamlees and a Pants on his squad. Plus the Panther for the Panther for the Nose Stug on the way. Meanwhile, his opponent has three T-35s, plenty of infantry, engineers, maximum mortars, and a field gun. So the situation of Angry Dutchman is definitely dangerous. Very dangerous. And odds are not looking great here for Angry Dutchman. Not looking great at all. Infantry commanding up here. Second Stuck almost done Frank with Dutchman and Deutschland. So there you go. Second Sturm Geschütz 3 as for G. Should have the pin button MD42 for that. And the Pioneer Squad there for Angry Dutchman. Shot fired. Got a man to kill. Stug setting up, should add the pin on the machine of course, probably won't. Enemy 
There's could go for T-34 and takes it back up his three T-35s. He doesn't need it, but he could go for it. Back here, nothing fun going there for Angry Dutchman. Got in on the Panther 4, they're almost taking it out. Panther Bear for is close to Veterans he won. Panther up in the conscripts, T for following ahead here. Taking the Stooks, Stooks gets a good hit for the turn. Another Panzer Alpha Badass here from the Panzer Alpha. Gets one more kill. Oh, two. Actually, gets three more kills in. That's an improvement. Almost veterans are one, but still not quite there. You got 150 centimeters to 95. Situation all remains, I think, very much here for Delirious here versus Angry Dutch, and he's just kind of stuck. This is his opponent. More to being hold for here for Delirious and the Red Army. T-34, of course, 85 is in need of some light repairs, but nothing significant. Another pack 40 of Angry Dutchman. Can't go for more Stoogs. More Panthers, I think, the great deal. There we go. T-35 to 5. More annoy for Delirious and the Red Army. And North straight to Pony Space there. Thumbs up to Delirious. Keeping up pressure constantly. It was probably also time to get lucky. Maybe spot the Panther there and then knock it up. It's safely tucked away there. Stormgeist shoots among four bouts. We got 122 versus 295. Stood engaged here with the T-35 head on. Another great hit there. Stood gets a good hit in return. Close to Veteran to one there. Very close. The shape of the angry Dutchman is very much one of, you know, being pinned to the wall here. Not just pinned to the wall by anything, but by a large angry Russian man after he insulted his mother's mustache. Anyway, still then getting the T-35, Pantherful shoots, bounces, T-35 rushing in here against Angry Dutchman, second stool kaput. Sadly, we've able to build up many of them, and his Pantherful's also about to get hosed. Now this very much looks like GG of Angry Dutchman. Pack 45 is away, they almost got it. Pantherful there. Close to destruction. Almost got one T-35. That's going to be helpful there for Angry Dutchman. But uh, in the end, not quite enough. You've got 77 versus 295. Got it. Small win. Ace level on the Panda 4. Pack will go about to get exterminated here by Delirious. So of course, he's showing no mercy. Shot fired. Missed. Panther for uh, some time to go fine. There you go. GG. Game over. In the end, I mean, you know, he focused, as mentioned before, too much in the center. Not enough on the resources. And handing over his opponent's resources was definitely, like, a huge factor in this getting. But also, I think, just trying to go for tier 4, which is... Yeah, he's just never really that good. Plus, he should have gone for some more pans. I think and he just played, I think, a more focused game. The old bit, you know, tighter. I think he definitely had a much better chance of us than Lewis. But Lewis, I think, just... Party again just, I think, played a bit sharp and somewhat specific for the early game with the, with the doubling units, but also just like, had a better force composition, and most crucially, he focused on the damn fuel. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on the channel, 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 chann